We are back on the old stream farm and today we have some chores to do. So the cattle have gone through about 350-ish thousand liters overnight of food. So we definitely need to get them fed up. And then after that, well, uh, we're, we're actually kind of chilled out. We can fast forward a few days and we may even find ourselves in spring by the end of it all. Hopefully March comes around quickly so that we can get some more grass for our sheep because currently they are running down. Now, if we jump in and take a look at the sheep real quick, they are taking in 12,000 liters of food and uh, 222,000 liters a year. So supposedly we have enough for the next year. However, that does change from season to season. So... Well, we'll see. So then, step one, jumping into our friend 820. Again, absolutely love this thing. The only thing I don't like is that uh, it's a little bit, uh, hmm, a little movie. Moves a lot. Rocking and rolling with the Keenan McFiber 365, my favorite feed mixer from the past few farming simulator games. Really, truly is. I love this thing. Let's open it up. Let's go and turn the mixer on so that when we start putting stuff in there, well, we are good to go. Holds one million liters, so we need to figure out the number of bales that we need to pop out so that we can get the perfect mixture. So what I wanna do is a uh, 350, 350, 300 split because we do have a little bit of an overlap. We could do 33% of uh, hay grass and, uh, or hay grass, hay, straw and silage, but we're not gonna do that. We do 350,000, 350,000, and then end it out with 300,000. So let's see if we've got enough for those bales. So we're going to need 14 silage, 14 hay, and then we'll finish it up with 12 straw. So let's do that. Let's find ourselves some silage, get 14 of these guys out of there. Boom. That should be good. We're going to be using the Farson again. Absolutely loving this thing. Plus, because it's front loader, I can use front loader tools in a telehandler form. Oh, yeah. I'm not using that. Where's the, the loader at? Is that it? Yeah, there it is. This thing right here. Let's see if we can boom out just a little bit. Maybe kick it off to the left. Just a hair. There we go. Bring it back in. <laughs> if you missed the last time with me using this thing, you can actually grab a hold of bells. So we can grab four of these at a time and just drop them in. Let's see. Uh, X is grab bells with the uh, exception that you have to be holding the bells to grab them so check this out we'll come over here we'll just kind of line this up with the bottom two about like that that'll be perfectly fine plus we need a lip at the bottom so that we can unload these and that's it lift them up a little bit and come around now if you're curious where i've gotten this bell grab from it is if i remember correctly from the straw harvest pack so if you guys have that downloaded well that's where you're going to get this grab it's one of the best ones that I found. Let's drop the bells and it'll drop right in there and they should uh, get used pretty quickly because I've modified the trailers. Matter of fact, somebody actually sent me a trailer which I still need to get installed into this game save. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these silage bells done. Got a couple bells beside each other now. Let's see if they all line up. Hey, they do. Oh, that's gonna be so awesome. All right. So I got all the way through, all the way to the last line of uh, silage. I was like, I'm gonna waste time if I don't double up on this. Well, if we have a single amount and we're doing equals amount of hay and uh, silage, I knew that I was gonna have a little bit extra. So there we go. Boom, boom, boom. It's too easy. It's way too easy. All right, let's get this up into there. One of the nice things as well, because we've got our help window opened up, we can, there we go, drop all those in there. We can actually watch how that mixture is being used before we even jump back into the tractor. Super nice. And lastly, we got a couple silage bells to toss in here and then we're all good. Now you probably have noticed that I do not use uh, silage additive with any of my stuff or silage additive or you know, mineral feed, any of that. I I don't know, does it, does it actually work? Pretty sure some people did some stuff uh, or some testing back at the beginning of Farm Sim and realized that that well number one the silage additive did nothing and then number two the uh, mineral feed actually does nothing other than be very expensive and and take up space so am i wrong in a super dead hey let me know and now time for the last bit the last couple silage bells of course i had to make that the most difficult part jump in here and we have a full 
perfectly mixed TMR. Let's go ahead and fold it, and we can also turn off the mixer as well, which is great. Bring them around, and we'll dump it in. And like I mentioned, we are never, ever, ever selling any more silage bales or hay or grass, anything like that again. It is really just manure and silage, and that is it. It's not going to take it all. It's going to take a lot of this, but not all of it. Should go down. Yep, there we go. All right. So we could turn this off, at least for now, and we could put this away. Bring it in, drop it down, and we need to load that bucket up because, well, it's going to be time to pick that poo up again before you know it. Now that they've been fed, we are ready to move on to the next day. And uh, there's a couple things that I want to do. Number one is to find a way to make this setup right here a little bit better. If, if, if I'm honest, be nice to have something that we can either drive around the uh, area here, maybe something that's dedicated just for milk, because currently we have to swap this out every time we want to do milk. And also the trailer doesn't match this setup whatsoever. Well, after looking at everything, I mean, I, <laughs> I know we keep doing it this way, but I think this is going to be the best for now, uh, especially since we'll probably end up around 30 episodes with this. We're not too far away from that. I don't think we're going to be able to go in and modify a bunch of stuff just to use. We've used this for the whole series, so you know what? Let's end the series with it. Speaking of it, let's uh, end this day in game. And December is upon us, and the cattle have been starving. Man, they ate, uh, what, 250, almost 300,000 liters last night? Goodness gracious, they are some hungry little baby cows. Speaking of... I haven't been paying attention to see when we're getting animals, so I should probably do that. Just to kind of see here. Uh, let's see. How are the chickens doing? We've got 55,000 liters in there. Yearly food's 24,000, so that's not too bad. Hopefully, they're giving us some extra eggs as well. That would be nice. Uh, looks like, let's see, puberty and reproduction. So, uh, we have actually gotten cows. I, I, think we had, we need, I think we had new cows yesterday. I'm just now seeing this. I didn't know we had baby cows. <laughs> and then our uh, main cows, baby cows, baby goats, sheep. I don't know. And then, yeah, everything else here is good. Let's just pretend that I said the right things through there and let's move on. Okay? Okay. Now, because we are rocking and rolling, everything is looking pretty good. As a matter of fact, I'm, I may have actually made a mistake because I delivered some eggs to uh, the bakery up here. Totally forgot. I also delivered flour there and it's making bread and uh well they've got eggs right now and we need to make some cakes what i might do is spend a little bit of money uh because we made another like 100 then on 50 160 thousand dollars last night so i might just go in and buy some of these things and, and, and then be good from there because with cake there you go that's what we need so if we can extrapolate how much we have as far as uh, eggs go we need uh quote unquote two um, so we just need to match all of these things and it'll make some cake for us and then get rid of the eggs. I do have a uh, buy productions input mod installed. So uh, yeah, we're going to use that. There we go. We've got that. Actually, I could deliver milk here. Oof. What are you going to do, right? Uh, down here into butter. We'll buy that. I actually wanted to do production chains as far as uh, uh, the, I think there was a, uh, Oh gosh, what was the mod? This thing right here. So this was a greenhouse that could be set up or actually was actually set up right here, if I remember correctly. However, for some reason, it was giving me some troubles. So I decided not to utilize that. Uh, we, we have gone through, we bought all of these inputs. I just maxed them all out. That way it's nice and easy. But there is one thing. We spent a lot of our money doing that. So hopefully we can make some of that up today. First things first, let's pick up our milk, 25,000 liters overnight as per usual. And we'll bring it up to our own site, dairy and drop it off. Now, one of the things that I want to do is check on this on site dairy, the farm dairy cheaty. Here we go. So looks like the milk in is what we've got. If you remember in the last one, we had a surplus of milk, which was Turning out to be a really bad thing. Fortunately, we are all good. Now I'm gonna spin this bad boy around and put it right there. Please? Bam, got it. All right, the next thing I wanna do is test something that one of you guys posted in the comment section saying that I could just automatically load the manure into the truck. So we're gonna try and do that today. 
Actually, as a matter of fact, what I might do is drop off this trailer right here. Right about there. And we'll just kind of let it start loading up with slurry. I'm going to go around. I'm going to turn on my help window. And I'm going to see, does this give me the option to load that manure up? I don't think that this map allows you to do that. I'm pretty sure you got to oh, start filling. Oh. Well, guess I'm the idiot, huh? Well, I don't get to muck out everything anymore, but that certainly makes things a lot quicker and easier, doesn't it? Sure does. All right, let's load this back up. Did we get any more? Nope, so 57,500 liters of slurry and 27,000 liters of manure. Nice and easy. Now, today we are going to try to utilize a different way out of here. So we've got one lane up through behind us, and then this is the other one. This is an area that I have no interest whatsoever in combining these fields together. So, can we get out up here? I know getting in was an absolute disaster last time. It's pretty tight, but it does work. So, what did I hit? I hit nothing. Ah! <laughs> so frustrating. And then we'll just turn out right here. Normally we pop out right there, but it looks like this is going to be super easy to be able to go through those grass fields and plow them all together and never have to worry about that road again. So we could plow a lot of the stuff through there together. Oh man, that is going to make things super easy. Looks like the BGA has handled a lot of stuff, but it still had some manure and slurry. Actually, it had zero manure. That's all of my manure. Still got a lot of slurry in there though. 169,000 right now and we're about to give it a whole lot more we may have to upgrade the biogas plant again oh please don't fill up oh my goodness <laughs> it had 1300 liters left before it was full uh we may want to we may want to upgrade that i'm not quite sure i want to leave that sitting it's just too much slurry so what's it gonna cost to upgrade this again too much you know what i'm doing it let's do it let's upgrade it Hopefully, maybe now, it'll take the slurry down. We've got a lot of slurry coming in every day. Ooh, and it is not utilizing it. And the last little bit here with the digestate, we'll bring this to our handy dandy selling station and sell that off. And we should get a nice, easy, well, there's 11 grand. I think we got 14 in the last one, which was very nice, but uh, you know, I'll take what I can get, I think at this point. I'm gonna try another way into the farm today, just to see. So going left right there is quite tight. So let's go up here, let's hang a left. This should go right beside the farm. I should be able to turn left right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then turn right up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then down into the farm we go because these are our fields. This was a good way, I like that. Hey, do you have a better way to get in here? Let me know, but I think, uh, I think that's the way I'm going to start using from now on. And here we are into January with a... Well, it was... It's snowing here, <laughs> but it's not snowing around the main farm. Uh, not quite sure what's up with that. But uh, hey, there, there's that. Um, we had $21,000 of production costs overnight, which was ridiculous. However, we also have $537,000 because our productions made us a pile of money. So let's take a look at that just to kind of check in and see. So yesterday we had $126,000 of harvest income plus 80,000 from the BGA, 20,000 already today. Miscellaneous was 7,800, another 10 and 22. But you can see the production costs are quite high. Um, production costs here, goodness, you know, we would have made a whole lot more. I'm not quite sure why those production costs have jumped so much overnight. But it's a lot. Man, oh man. We do own a bit, though. So uh, we got to do basically everything that we did, but backwards. So we're going to go do that now so that you don't get bored with it. Well, you have to take my word for me that I went through and delivered everything. So there you go. We also need to give our cows a little bit more food, but I'm not quite sure if this is going to be all of it or maybe there's a little bit more. That'll be all of it. Well, that answers that question, doesn't it? Uh, that also answers the question of, can we continue and move on to the next day in game? That answer would be yes. 
Yes, we can. All right, let's give this one more try here. We've already upgraded the BGA four times. Uh, drop it in at level number five now. We're no upgraded three. Yeah, you know what I mean. Let's see if that works any. I mean, we're just literally just raking in money every single day. I have gone through here to see if there's anything we want, but it doesn't look like there's much in the way of uh, Fent equipment right now. We did have a Fent 500 series uh, a few days ago, but there's nothing really to use with that here on the farm. So, uh, January, uh, let's hit through February and maybe through March. Welcome to a very chilly and cold February morning. $596,000. I feel like every time I spend money, we just get more money. <laughs> I mean, I dig it. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, I feel like we're just getting more and more money. Uh, the good thing is the slurry is further down than it was. We started with 170 some yesterday morning today 165 so upgrading is working we do have a lot of digestate though which is well i mean to be fair great news milk is being sold which is awesome we're still getting wool in all the time which is making um our fabrics uh, we may need to upgrade the spinnery because currently it's got a lot of uh of stuff so yeah let's go ahead and do that upgraded spinnery to level two hopefully that gets through quickly Anything else? Uh, the grain mill is doing just fine. It's kicking out flour, which is sending over to our bakery. How's the upgrade for that? Eh, I think we're fine. We're already making too much money as it is. Let's double check over here. Ooh, another 500 Gen 3. I don't have a use for it, but I want it. And, ooh, was there another fent over here? There was. Oh, man. It's the big boy. Oh, I want it. So we've spent a lot of our money and I gotta be completely honest with you. Um, we don't need it <laughs> at all. We don't need it whatsoever, but I want it. Oh, it's so beautiful. And look, I got the blinkies on the top. Yeah, we got the full light package all the way around. Got an 1800 kg weight for the front of it. Um, I don't, I, I don't actually know what we're gonna do with that actually the weight color is a bit off let's see we'll go with that ah there we go that's the proper color it's also not enough well i don't know it's pretty heavy it looks small but it's quite heavy all right yeah i um i have no need for this <laughs> we don't need a, a, a fit 1000 or 1500 what did i go for 1050? I mean, it's a 1050. Did we go for the full engine? Really? I thought I left this at the stock engine. I was playing around with some of the settings. Ay, 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 ay. So, we have uh, the little Xylon 2800s, an old one and a new one, and a 1050 now. You don't need a 1050 on this map. But we got one! So let's, I don't know, find something to do with it? I don't know. I'm just going to park it up over here for now. There's nothing to do with this. Because it is a new day, we still need to do all of our chores, so we're going to run those quickly. And something I've been very accustomed to, found traveling over to the VGA daily. Eh, I don't hate it. It's kind of what it is. Plus, it's kind of the way that I play anyway. All right, we'll double check the VGA and see how we are doing. So the manure in there is what we've given it. It's still, the slurry's not going down too quickly. We'll give it another day or so in game just to see, will it work? It's up to 225 now, so it's got 24 hours to get rid of all of that. But we do have a lot of digestate today. Boy, oh boy. Good amount of digestate this time. 15,995,000. Look and God. So uh, the grass is frosted. However, I think we're going to be able to harvest this next month in game. Running one day months right now, so February. March it will be. I'm going to put a little bit of a yeet there at the very end. Uh, we do have a bunch of eggs that need to be sold currently. Uh, we're going to drop off that trailer. We're going to drop off this trailer. And we need to get a hold of something that's going to load up said eggs. I think what we may end up doing is getting something... You know, I got the perfect idea. This is my new setup for productions. Yes. So I've got a used Fent 510 right here. So not the biggest engine ever, but it is a CVT, which makes things nice. And it'll back up 
at 20 miles an hour. We've got the Lizard Logistics trailer on the back, which, if I'm honest, is a little bit angled. <laughs> but uh, that's no problem. That's totally okay. Let's come around here, see if we can bump into these things and get them to auto load up. Dear eggs, go inside the trailer, please. Well, I got 17 liters. It's going to be harder than I thought. Uh, <laughs> there we go. You go in there, and then, and then the rest of you guys do the same. Please and thank you. Awesome. All right, it's working. And there it is. That is all the eggs. 8,125,000 liters. Now we need to find out where we're going to take them. And the bakery is not the answer for that whatsoever. So currently we own the bakery, so we're not going to be able to take them there. Country bakery we don't own, so that could be a thing. Agricultural fair, that's a great place to take them as well. As a matter of fact, I think we'll go there. Just kidding. Uh, that is super duper far away, so we are not going to go to the agricultural fair, which is at the top left hand corner of the map. Uh, we are going to go to the sell all up here, right around the corner from me not the bakery right there uh those are some really really bright strobes and if you guys are cool with that i'm gonna turn those off that's a little bit daunting let's bring this here we will open it up do i need to open it up yeah let's go and we'll back it around your face isn't accepted here because it's taking them so how are they not accepted if it takes them Thirty-four thousand dollars money we didn't need but i got it so we're good and i think for now it's probably where we are going to call it at least for this one on a nice bright sunshiny but very cold february morning hope you have a good one we'll see you soon